Let me just eat ya. <sighs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, you think you have defeated Juju Duty? Think again, sexy dead man. You will not get your answers from me. Not today. Welcome back to Deadhead Friend. Au revoir, mon ami. Until we meet again. Mm. Au revoir. Have fun. Great. Terrific. Hmm. The hell is this? Eat it. So, you decided to come for a visit after all. I was beginning to think you had forgotten about me. I got a little sidetracked, and FYI, next time you tell somebody to come for a visit, you might want to provide a few more details about the crazy voodoo bitch on guard duty at the mausoleum. <laughs> so you did meet Judy. Spectacular, isn't she? I don't know, uh... No, spectacular ain't exactly the word I'd use. What are you, to an item? You seem to be a little too alive for her tastes. Her tastes have changed over the years. Lucky stiffs. So, did you bring me the heads? Yeah, I brought them. Sure did. There. That should fit nicely. Well, what do you think? Very comfy, thank you. And I'm sure I look like a million bucks wearing some corpse's head. Oh, you look fine. Honestly, it's not much worse than the brain in the jar thing. <laughs> but then again, I'm used to looking at corpses. I think they're rather lovely. I can help you with all of your interchangeable head needs. I own the Head Shop franchise. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it? I can't say I have. Oh, where did you get this? Voodoo Betty left it behind when she got pulled underground by the cast of Night of the Living Dead. Juju Judy. Yeah, whoever. Do you know what that thing is? Of course I do. It's a mutant worm. There are mutant worms everywhere in Hope Falls these days. <laughs> They're amazing. When a mutant worm burrows into dead tissue, it has interesting effects. <laughs> For example, if one were introduced to one of your heads, it would cause new and beneficial mutations, enhancing the head's powers. Head upgrades are also a specialty of mine. That gold worm there is one of the rarest and most powerful. It can permanently boost the head's performance. <laughs> You're lucky. Judy never gave me a worm. Tell me this. How exactly do you use these worms? Any time you find one, just get it to me. I can help you make the upgrade. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> of course. Thanks, pal. I'll think of you every time I find a slimy worm. Not just worms. Heads, too. I can modify heads that you collect so that you can use them. Swap them with your jar. That sounds pricey. I don't exactly have a lot of scratch at the moment. Hmm, yes. That does present a problem. Wait. I've got an idea. Not a problem. We'll just do the same deal as we did tonight. I can always use new headstock, and you're bound to come across a bunch of them. <laughs> How about this? Whenever you collect five heads of any new type, bring them to the head shop. I will keep four, and modify the fifth one for you. Sound fair? That sounds like a deal. But how will I know whether you need what I've, uh, collected? Here, take this. When you collect five heads, give me a call at the head shop. The number's stored in there. Hey, don't you need this? Nah, I never use up all of my minutes anyway. Damn poor company. Besides, it's got a tracking device in it. I bet Doc Steiner will want to keep an eye on where you are. <laughs> I'll let him know you have it. Oh, shit! The Doc! I almost forgot about him. Pitt and his goons grabbed him. 
They took him someplace called Creepy Hollow. Do you know where that is? Sure. It's just beyond the graveyard. Out that way. Thanks there, Sam. And, uh... And thanks for the head, too. I'll be in touch. Alright, let's do it. So, yeah, I've decided to go back to Deadhead Fred, considering I'm done with... Well, that's, uh... Interesting. For some reason, the controls were jacked. Anyway, what I was going to say is, considering I'm done with Destroy All Humans 2, and I temporarily went back to this game anyway, I figured I'd just go back to it. Dr. Steiner has set up a series of manholes that Fred can use to quickly get from place to place. Once unlocked, Fred can use a manhole to travel to any other unlocked manhole. Press the triangle button to enter the map of Hope Falls and press this cross button to travel to an unlocked manhole. Confirm. Checkpoint reached. That's nice. May as well save a state too while we're at it. Oh, that's lovely. Creepy Hollow. Locked. Of course it is. It hasn't been unlocked yet. Why would it be? I haven't even been there yet. But he did say it was just outside of the graveyard, so... Shouldn't be too far. This is where I fought... The Voodoo Girl. So let's see what we can find beyond here. How do I get the feeling I'm going the wrong way? Yep, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Should be doing. Alright. Real shame that I basically lost all my heads. Oh well. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can turn invisible. How did I forget about that? And this allows me to jump, it would seem. Gotta remember things. Ah, there we go. Creepy hollow. They say it's jungle out there. Well, I ain't seen squat till they've been to this place. I've been this deep in the bush since the day I was born. There's a cinch Steiner's around here somewhere. But where? That is the question, isn't it? Head hints have been turned off. You can reactivate them in the options menu. Well, that's lovely. That's real lovely, man. I guess we're doing it alone. Oh, that's... Nice. Nice scripted event you got there. You know, somehow I get the feeling. Oh, oh jeez. The hell? It's like my health just completely drained up. Hold on. I think I may have to switch heads here. I'm gonna have to be buoyant for this one. If that's... if that'll even make a difference here. Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. Well, that was... strange. Can I even... get through that with either of my heads? Because it's looking like a no. Then again, maybe I need to go over there. Yeah, maybe the problem is I don't need to go into water at all. Oh, that's nice. What's this? Oh, a cameo locket. That's nice. I need to figure out how to move around. Can I move the camera at all? No, of course not. Why would I want to move the camera around? Does it make things easier? Bow with your easiness. Clearly all I found was a secret. Finding secrets before you actually find the way you're supposed to go. That sounds like me. I keep doing I keep wanting to press L and R just because that's Oh, health already full, huh? That's nice. Well, being able to look around might be nice. Freak. Well, I can't jump around, I guess I gotta go down to the dip. Oh, frick. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I didn't really have a choice, did I? I mean, I had a choice, but... 
What actual choice did I have? Not really much. So how do I get that and then still live? Because that might be a problem. You know, just a little bit. Oh shoot. Did it just change on me? Yeah, I'll just admit, I'm just gonna come out and admit it, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Then again, do I ever? This might be good. Nope, that doesn't work at all. Alright, hang tight. Oh yeah, I definitely always had that. I must have forgotten about my convenient ability to turn myself into a hot air balloon. Yep. My bad. Clearly that's always something that I had. And I must have forgotten about it, because, you know, that's something that you can conveniently forget about. Oh, that's great. That is magical right there. Clearly you glide down, too. So I gotta be more careful with it. That yeah, makes sense to me. Kinda. Sort of, maybe. Probably. Okay. Really? I have to say, come on. Get over there. I knew you had enough. Just had to be what careful about it. Hell? Oh, a headhunter. How lovely. Hell are you? Yeah, this is not turning out in my favor. Boom! That works out fine for me. Oh crap! I had the chance. Oh, here we go. Time to rip his head off. Or just bite his neck. That works too. Well, well, well. Would you get a load of you? Uh, yeah, you can drop the dukes, laddie. I'm not in the mood for fighting. You what passes for entertainment in this nightmare? Because I ain't laughing. I, I can see that. I see you got one of the executioner's heads there. Any idea what this one does? This is a shrunken head. You put this on, and you'll shrink to the size of a wee little leprechaun. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, if you'll pardon the pun, and give it a try? <laughs> Irish jokes. You see? Damned useful, really. <laughs> Why, at that size, you can go into places you normally couldn't. Pipes, hollow logs, rat holes. You see? <laughs> Fun, ain't it? <laughs> Kinda like Alice in Wonderland. Only without the eat me part. <laughs> well, speaking of fairy tales, since you live here, why don't you make like Mother Goose and tell me a story? <laughs> What's the deal with this horseman character? As the horseman first appeared, the night after Pitt brought one of his boys out here to dispose of him left the body down by the lake, but there were no head attached. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Well, the body disappeared, and right after that, the horseman showed up, riding on that big ghost horse of his, flames shooting out of his nose. When he begins, Pitt? Yeah, the horse, that is. The horseman, well, he ain't got a nose to speak of, of course. <laughs> I need to find this horseman. Where is he? Find the horseman? Nobody finds the horseman. He finds you. Listen, you mick bastard. I don't have a choice. He's got his lousy mitts on an acquaintance of mine, a doctor that might be the only person who can fix me up. If you want to go searching for the horseman, you're on your own. I'll be off now, but I'm sure we'll see more of each other while you're in the hollow. <laughs> if you survive, of course. <laughs> Ta!
Was that a threat? Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, that's fun. Right after I get this power up, I gotta use it. Indeed. Press the circle button to perform a roll. Rolls are good for squeezing past obstacles and dodging attacks while rolling. Press the square button to perform a rolling uppercut. Oh, that's fun. That's just delightful right there. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh, look. Red worm juice. <laughs> Always good to have the worm, apparently. He just loves taking in the worms, if you know what I'm saying. Not in that way. Get your head out of the gutter. Although, maybe we have to get into the gutter. Wait, what the? How? How do you use one of those? I don't see the shrunken head in my inventory. That might be a problem. How to? Catch worms. Switch heads. Yeah. That would be a thing if I even knew where the heads were around here. Doesn't seem to even have one. Oh, you inflict a crippling disease upon your enemies that can be transferred from one enemy to another. Also increase your recovery time when stunned. High pressure spray that sends your enemies sprawling. Your healing rate is greatly increased while wearing the jar head. Your first attack inflicts extra damage. Stealth duration increases. No flickering when in stealth mode. Upgrade's not available at this time. That's a shame. So how the hell do I use that shrunken head? It's not one of the heads, so I can't just do that. And there doesn't appear to be any prompt to use it either. Oh. Just use triangle, I guess. You gotta use it during scripted events. Oh yeah, the key's just right there. Thief Shack key. Huh. Well then. Just that simple, huh? I guess the rat didn't want to stick around and fight, huh? Can't say I blame him. I mean, I could just return to normal size and crush it like the rat it is. So yeah, I can see why it wouldn't want to tango with me. Although Pit probably has some crew members who would want to tango with me. Mission givers have fireflies buzzing around their heads. Green fireflies indicates available missions. Yellow fireflies indicate that Fred has a mission to turn in. That's wonderful. You must have the Tiki head equipped to use the totem pole. Yeah. What do you know about that? Hey, buddy. Who are you? Are you anybody? You don't look like anybody who's hostile, so maybe I should quit punching you in the head. Red worm juice. That does not look like red worm juice, but sure, for the sake of argument. Suppose I'll have to find the horseman, won't I? Oh, that's magical right there. Another executor. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Let's go for this, because this seems to be good against him. No zombies, get out of the way. My beef is with the executioner right now, not you. You'll have to wait your turn, buddy boy. Damn it. And just keep butting in. Alright, come on. Yeah, you can't attack me now, can you? None of you. And I believe the head in the jar is the best for dealing with them. Freaking hell. Damn it, I'm getting surrounded here. Damn it. Forgot how to, how to do about that. Well, I can power attack them. That works just fine. Fortunately, running out of worm 
Juice. I'm running out of worm everything. Give me the worm, man. I need the worm bad, apparently. To the broken bridge. Oh, I see. That's fascinating. I think I understand why you can't just switch to your head. It's very much scripted. Because otherwise, you would basically have to get closer up on the game's normal graphics. And that would make the game look worse. So what happens is that, during scripted events, it shows a high-res version, essentially. And I got a nose ring, that's just lovely. Freak. Talk about a high-intensity platformer here, all of a sudden. Oh, I can't use my other heads. This poses a problem. I mean, I got a nose ring, does it do anything for me? I can't make use of the floating head, so uh, I should probably be careful and not try to jump that. For once, I should use my head. Because I can't use my heads. Oh well, I'm sure this nose ring will come in handy for something. Probably. Let's go ahead and skip through that. Yeah, that's just fun, isn't it? I wonder if I can get up to that broken bridge in full size. Oh. I see. They just reappear, huh? Frick. Well, there was no point in me even killing them, was there? Screw this, I'm getting out of here. Ah, no hurry, you're only being chased and all that. No problem. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Are you the one who needs this nose ring? Oh, finder's keeper is not active. Trade. If you give me $970, I will give you a gold worm. I don't exactly have money. I seem to have misplaced a few of my possessions in the forest. My tools and a particular item I recently uh, required. If you find them, I can make it worth your while. Leave the thief. Thief shack in Creepy Hollow. Accept. Okay, so what do I need? What kind of tools do you need? You're not gonna tell me what kind of tools you actually need, are you? Peace, brother. Whatever, man. I'm pretty sure I already found one of them. Then again, what the hell do I know? Because again, you won't give me any specifics. Find the thief's gear, screwdriver, lockpick, stethoscope, black duffel bag, and diamond, and return them all to the thief. Wonderful. That's just dynamite. Now, here's a question, how do I go forward? Because I'm pretty sure that gap is insurmountable in my form. In my shrunken state, I mean. And it's not like I can use any of my head's powers when I'm in shrunken form. Unless I can, and I just didn't know it. Let's see what happens. Nope, he doesn't have any of his former powers. Then again, he can roll, but I'm not sure that will do me any good. Probably not. I can't believe I'm doing this, I'm gonna die. But, just to prove a point. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> wow, doesn't even give me the, il the illusion. He just instantly dies. How classy. Yep, there's nowhere I can go with here. I found a nose ring, but what good is that gonna do me? Probably not very much, huh? I probably would have been better off not save stating. Because I was already at the other side. Oh well. I'm gonna figure it out eventually, but in the meantime, hang tight real quick. You know, maybe I should have just looked around for two seconds, huh? Because all of a sudden there's, uh... Oh, 
Oh, crap. That was not good. What the hell was I thinking? I was thinking that I could float, but apparently I can't anymore. That was weird. How come I all of a sudden can't float? I floated just fine before, but now all of a sudden it does not want to work. That's weird. So much for special abilities. I mean, the gas attack is there, but at what cost? At what freaking cost, man? Maybe I gotta go from above or something. Maybe it has to be triggered by falling. Who even knows? I guess it was just a very specific spot that it could be used for. That is weird. Maybe I just gotta swim across really quick before it runs out, before I run out of air. No freaking clue. Okay. Probably not. Hang tight again. I should have had more imagination, huh? This isn't blocked. I could have gone up here the entire time. Oops. If I could just make these jumps, I'll be in business. Evidently, I cannot. However, maybe I can make it from here. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close, mister. Oh, uh, that's just uh, great camera positioning right there. He won't even pull himself back up. That's a damn dirty shame, isn't it? Wait. If I could make that jump... Somehow... Not really sure how, considering I can't even see where I'm going at this point. Let's try this again. This time, not use the camera. Because I'm probably better off just letting it default at this point. Yes. Gives me an overview. How I'm gonna make that, I have no idea. Oh! Right. If you roll and then jump, you jump farther, it would seem. Oh, that's just lovely. I mean, whatever works, I guess. Let's see. Oops. Oh, that actually worked. Sort of. It sort of works. But not really. Not, uh, not the way you'd like it to, but, uh, sort of works. You roll and then jump. You sort of jump higher, but then you have little to no control over it. It's really, it's a real crapshoot. It stops your momentum for some reason. Fortunately. Very finicky. I can only sorta of do it. Okay. Sure, why the hell not? Because this is in 3 after all. Wouldn't be the same if it wasn't possible for you to fall off just by going too far to the side. That ah, freak. I don't think I'm going to go over to the left. I should probably give up on that idea. Or at least if this is any indication. Probably go inward. Ah, yeah, forget it. This will have to do. If we can just get to the right camera angle. Did I mention this is weird? Yeah, seriously, this is freaking weird, man. Hang tight. I gotta say, this is some janky platforming. But then again, this probably isn't the system for this. Or maybe it's just, uh, not that well thought out. 
I mean, at least I made it through. I shouldn't complain too much, but, uh... That was a little bit trickier than it had to be. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, crap. Here you go. How about some of this? Okay, here we go. Let me just eat you. And break your neck while I'm at it. Fortunately, I'm all out of time. I think I'm just gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I see that guy has shrunk your heads in him. Oh well. Can't be helped. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I see. How do I headhunt? I have no idea. Oh, shit. I see. So you do have to be that specific head. Whatever. So, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like blood. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.